Hi everybody. Hi everybody. And today we'll be looking at Bitcoin one more time. And just from the yesterday it bounced off from the support line. And it showed a nice possibility for it to go a little bit higher as well. So let's look sorry let's look at what are the odds of going a little bit higher and the odds i would say actually are really nice and as i always do i, I drew trend lines i always follow the trend lines and i plan my strategy based on trend lines sorry just one more moment so it's not an accurate it's a precise trend line, uh, not, not a precise trend line, I mean. And I'll draw another trend line right here. It's also not a highly accurate trend line, although I'm a mobile phone. So what do we see here a little bit higher? So what do we see here is basically the Bitcoin is getting to a point of two support lines pushing it up so just because of this i would think that bitcoin will go upwards to 8300 so i would definitely place a trade with a trailing stop loss but i would not recommend users to buy and hold for a long period of time and that's why i use always this ai coin pal trader platform which is actually really simple to place a trading strategy let's zoom into five minute charts five minute chart and, uh, and let's look so as you can see bitcoin is slowly slowly down trending and in my case it will reach the area around here so that's area about eight thousand fifty dollars so we could now create a trade with eight thousand fifty dollars and how we can do this is by placing a buy lower at 8,050. Okay. And what can we do is we could go for a small target as 0.5% backtested targets right here. Meaning that, uh, meaning that whatever happens if the price goes upwards by a half percent, the system will automatically keep a percent of 0.5%. Uh, it would be the absolute safest what we can do. And uh, let's plan our budget, uh, $350. I will put it in the simulation mode just to, you know, have a, have a fun around it. All right, now that it's placed. And we could place another trade at the same level, 8,050, 8, but with a 1% backtested trailing stop loss strategy and also on simulation mode. Of course, I can do it on live mode, but I have all my budget already used on other buy positions, so that's why I cannot do it right now. And let's use the same uh, $395. And let's place a deal. Good job. So what the system will be doing, the system will automatically buy my trade at the support level, which we paid at uh, 8050 And when a deal would be bought at that level, the system will automatically trail the target the price and when the price starts falling back by 0.5 percent it's a it's a it's not actually a 0.5 percent trailing stop loss it's a strategy on on a narrow of 0.5 percent trail so it's a little bit different it's a little bit advanced and i use also my different strategies right here but i do not plan the price to go higher than uh, i would not risk it to go higher uh, than uh, than this area right here, which is eight 
6,400, which is approximately 3, 3 to 5%. Uh, I will not risk it to go higher. That's why I use one trade with a 0.5%, taking a quick profit, and one trade with a 1%, taking uh, chances for the price to go even higher and secure them. And then at that point, there will definitely be a large rejection uh, from that area, which could end up when the trades will close down or when the trades will be executed, I will receive a notification and then I will choose the next steps to make. But at this point, seemingly sees as me, myself, I will give a little more higher chance for the price to go upwards. So, but the risks are, of course, if the price fa falls down below to areas, uh, to area like here, and then I will place another trade a little bit with a little bit larger amount of uh, um, a capital in the trade so of course you will and some people will lose from time to time and on a trades but you always need to have a spare plan on uh, on uh, like a like a on the whatever the market do does you need a spare plan on it uh, so but i started using no stop loss strategies just because i feel that i know that i guess that the market is has turned into a bull market and if the prices let's say fall down and consolidate for a while then i will use other half of my capital to do trading on the lower levels the lower price levels and until the price reaches back up I will use only half of my capital or maybe one third or maybe two thirds of my capital on the lower uh, lower levels on the lower supports and the lower and lower supports whatever the price uh, supports down so that's my strategy for this point so okay thank you for watching and enjoy and trade safely and do recommend to tr try out this trader.ai coin pl platform as it improves my trading significantly significantly when i was trading with when i was trading with uh, like let's say exchange of our provider tools i was constantly losing although i'm not a professional trader i never never am i never was yet but with this platform it's getting better and better and better and like in, you can see here on the previous 10 days i have only two stop loss hits uh, with getting of 159% uh, of uh, profit on a, on a bet I'm getting. So that's, in my case, turns out to be $231. I place approximately, uh, by an average of $100 on a trade. In the last, in the last 24 hours, I didn't actually check how much, only 3%, but I, I, I was not doing too much trades in the last 24 hours in the last 48 hours 33 percent and you can of course see all the period which uh, should be around 500 520 percent and an average of two percent but keep in mind those nearly those 300 percent i got in the period where the market was just incredibly rising and then i was using only 20 to 550 dollar bets so i was uh, like testing out this tool, testing out the strategies that I know, and uh, then I got these results. So I do recommend testing out this platform. Uh, it's a really good platform and uh, uh, it should improve your uh, trading results from time to time.